Um, so this is a this video that I think could be helpful for people wanting to record sessions um, and have other people listen in as they're recording. Um, there's a lot of uh, voiceover artists, um, musicians around the world, um, sometimes composers listening to orchestras on the other side of the world, etc. that will find this useful. So I'm going to jump right in. This is uh, Source Elements, uh, which you may have heard of, and um, they have you know several products on the on the market for for recording, but uh, they have a free version, um, a beta version that they have now. So I want to um, just walk you through it and uh, show you how you can use it for your sessions. So uh, we're going to go to this URL. It's now dot source hyphen elements dot com, as you can see up here. So check that out. If you don't already have an account with them, you can just hit create new account like that, fill in all the information. And once you're filling in, you know, you're going to have to do confirmation in your email, et cetera, et cetera. And then once you have done that, then you can just go back to this URL, now.source-elements.com. Before we continue, you need, to, you need to make sure that you are using uh, Google Chrome to do this. Uh, they do not have a version that's uh, that's supported by um, Safari or Firefox or anything like that yet. So once you once you have all of that set up, then make sure that you uh, you go back to this page and you sign in. So I'll sign into my account quickly. All right, there we go. And then once you sign in, you just need to start a connection. And then here, this is an interesting feature. You can choose your audio quality. So this is pretty good up here, um, stereo quality. So say you're a mixing engineer and you have, um, you know, maybe the producer or um, maybe A&R guy or, you know, the artist listening in from, you know, another location, then it may be very useful to, to use one of these, um, you know, stereo, higher quality audio files. Um, however, if you're a remote, you know, musician, um, having someone listen in, mono probably is just fine, even if you are recording in stereo, because you just really need to, them to be able to hear what you're doing. But um, yeah, you have to make that decision. And, and the, the quality range is quite huge. I don't know who will want to listen to eight kilobytes per second, but the option is there. So once you, once you select that, you can select the number of guests that you're going to have. Um, and total number is five people um, for any session unless you make a special request with source elements. Um, they can have potentially up to 10, I believe, um, but it depends on your internet speed. So um, for this, we're just going to use one because I'm just going to sample it for you so you can um, see how this works. And then once you have um, those two things set up, you just need to uh, get a password, a unique password, for your guests. And I highly recommend that you don't use the same password as your account because then people can use your account for um, other things. So um, go ahead and type in a password that is unique for the session. And then once you do that, you can hit connect now. Now, I already have been on here, but you'll have a pop-up that comes here that um, asks you if you want to allow uh, source elements to access your microphone and you want to click allow microphone for that do not block it okay now the first thing you want to do when you get to the grid as they call it is that you want to go ahead and invite your guest so I'm going ahead gonna go ahead and invite a guest go and I'm going to be using an old email address of mine and I want to include the pass key in the invitation if you don't do this then you're gonna to have to send them the pass key you know maybe in a text message or in a separate email um, but if you just click that then they'll send it in the email itself so it just depends on what you want to do but I'm gonna include the email right there 
the password in the email, shall I say. And there we go. So this is what the email will look like for your guest um, when they get the invitation from you. And then all they have to do is maybe just copy the password that's been given to them if you've selected to include it in the email. And then they need to click on the link to be able to access the session. And once, this, once they do that, they do not need to can, uh, create, excuse me, create an account. All they have to do is go in, put their name, and then they uh, enter the password that, that you gave them, and then hit connect. That's all, all right? So that's what it looks like from their side, and then once they're in, then they get the same exact thing that you have. So um, here we are. I just want to show you three features that I think are very useful. Um, the first, obviously, is the chat box. Now, you might say, why is there a chat box if there's audio? But um, you can't take it for granted that the audio is going to work um, because we can go over here. At the moment, I'm not connected to my audio interface. Um, but I would be able to select between all my different audio inputs here. Um, but say something's not working and they're not able to hear me, but I can see that, you know, they're signed in. Um, you know, I could say, hey, you know, can you hear me? Um, and they can confirm, you know, no, I can't hear you or whatever problems. You can talk it through until everything's fine. So that, that makes a lot of sense to me. Um, and also, you know, during the middle of a session, maybe somebody's recording. Um, people can chat to one another um, instead of interrupting with voice voice talk. All right, so the other two features that I think are very interesting, um, the fact that there is a talkback button for everyone. Um, so if you want to talk, you can do one of two things. You can, you can hold, you can literally click and hold the... Uh, the close button, you don't even have to hold it, you just click it once and it stays open. You see that? And then you click it again to turn it off. Or if you want it to be like a real um, talk button, um, you can just hit the shift button here. And as soon as you release, it goes off. And I love that feature um, a lot. Okay. And then the last but not least is um, a great feature where you can record whatever's being uh, whatever's being recorded at the moment or whatever's coming through on the mic. So you can literally just hit the red button there and it starts recording. And whatever uh, is going through at the moment, even talking, I believe, um, will be recorded. And you, rec you can record for up to 90 minutes at a time. And whenever you download, it will be downloaded as a WAV file. So to download, you just hit select and then you hit download. If you want to listen to what I just said, you can literally just hit the red button there and it starts recording and whatever. Uh... So as you can see, there's a few pops and hisses and things in there, but this is mainly for references because obviously we're dealing with internet connection, bandwidth and all that sort of thing. So there's it's not going to be a pure connection. However, um, this is great for referencing um, the session, um, be able to do playbacks or or uh, be able to send audio to other people who are not a part of the session. So if you wanted to download that and send it off, you can literally um, do that. And as you can see, I have another recording that's the same thing. If you wanted to, you could just rename it. You could say, uh, you know, take one. And uh, that's the name of the file. So yeah, basically, that's, that's how it works. I think it's a great, um, great uh, you know, feature. Um, for people doing remote recordings, you have all of these things um, so that people can listen in very easily. Um, seems very self-explanatory. I must say, though, um, their website, I'm going to sign up very quickly, is not the most user-friendly. So that's why I made the video. Um, it's very uh, it's very IT techy, um, a lot of wordage, so verbiage, whatever the word is. Um, but yeah, if you think it's um, something that you can use, I most definitely recommend uh, Source Connect now, beta version. So, later guys.